Hello, 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 good morning, good evening, good whatever it is, wherever you are, hello. So we're trying something. Um, I turned off low latency mode. Um, oddly enough, my stream preview is, um, wait, why are you telling me? Oh, I see. I've turned, oh, weird. Okay. Funky. No, let me check my settings. Let me make sure that's, that is accurate. Um, where's that? Yeah, I turned off low latency mode and boom. So I was fiddling around with OBS and trying to understand what was going on. I still don't fully know. Um, but there's something about when I swap to the game screen, it goes to shit. And it doesn't seem like it matters that like the game is like the game itself it seems is the main I don't know if the the game itself is causing it or if it's like I don't know how to describe this. If it's it's I'm almost suspicious that there's not enough going on in the game on the game screen that my connection's like, "Oh, you don't need all this." Uh, uh, data to go through and is like dropping it. I don't know if that's the case. Probably isn't. Because it sounds like a dumb feature. Um, but I noticed yesterday when we were playing and it had that uh, like fast forward effect when we when we traveled through time the second time because we messed with the timeline because we're jerks. Um, that uh, <clears throat> it was solid green during that. It was like, the busier the screen was, the better my connection got. And that makes no sense. So I don't really understand, um... I, don't, I have no idea what's going on. The, the, that's the bottom line. I'm completely clueless. But turning off low latency, as you can see in the top right corner, appears to have solved that bouncing around connection issue. Now we might, we might still experience frame drops, I don't know. I only ran it for a little bit of time. Um, and maybe the green and yellow is not a big deal, although it just drives me nuts. It's very distracting. But if we don't drop any frames, then we might be good. Because I, I tried both. I tried it on and off. And with it on, green and yellow. With it off, pure green. So we're going to try this for a little bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> oh, that one went down rough. I don't know how badly... Um, It'll affect the time between, you know, things that are happening and people are seeing it. I thought it was going to go back to, like, the old days where it was, like, you know, 10 to, to 20 seconds, you know, between when you, the broadcaster did a thing and when the audience got to see it. But in my preview window, I'm, like, three seconds behind, which is not bad. So, I don't know. Maybe we're fine. All right, so we're going to, you know what, why, why load? Why not just hit continue? We are, first of all, we're going to load into the tutorial of Act 3, and we are going to skip said tutorial because I think we know how to play this game right now, and I don't want to play the tutorial again. So let's get back in the game. Let's see where this is going. My fellow Elysium, I know you have been looking forward to this day. Regrettably, however, I must inform you that Inspector Cletus and his companion have not yet returned. Therefore, we cannot yet exclude the remote possibility that down on Liponia, part of the population have somehow managed to survive among the junk to this day. Prime Controller Ulysses has confirmed that the Organon is ready to fulfill its mission. As soon as the inspection team gives the all clear on the return from the ruins of Portofisco, nothing will stand in the way of the spectacular start of our journey to Utopia. It is only a matter of hours until we can finally give the Organon the signal to go ahead and blow up our home planet. The good news is, due to this delay, the water slide will stay open for now. Not right. 
Oh, this thing's looking pretty good right now. We got water slides. They got green space. They got junk minstrels. So this is the third strike. You're dumping me just like a trash bag. Why? Just because of some must. Tart on the carpet, you pathetic dog hat. I assume that you're human to just bite the dust. But this isn't over yet. Here you can bet on that. The last part of my day will surely appease and change your mind anyhow. So turn on your deaf aid now. The story goes on for good things come in threes. The song of things come in threes. I'll wake those and get the mine detector. Take it easy. I'm just making breakfast here. Fried sludge with honey. Oh, yes again. The allergy medication is in the cupboard with a bear trap. Nonsense. The sludge is just a bait. I am fishing at this very moment. I'm using the diving crane to catch something big. Uh-oh. Uh no problem. Let me think. We should be in the Sea of Shards by now. Do we have enough bandages left? Um, Doc? Yes? This isn't the Sea of Shards. What? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. I hatched a great plan while you were asleep. What have you done? I found an abandoned on-ramp for the Organon's monorail track. And so I thought to myself, Bozo's Cutter used to be a rail vehicle, right? Rufus! What? You steered us onto an Organon cruiser route. Yeah, and it'll take us directly to the Upper Ascension Station in Port of Fisco. Where the Organon's headquarters are. And where the last high boat to Elysium is anchored. That was the plan, wasn't it? I will use my amazing resemblance to Cletus to sneak on board, together with gold. But... So come on, let's eat something first. <laughs> That's the diving crane. I've got a bite. I thought we weren't on the water anymore. So what? What do you mean, so what? So what took the bait? Uh-oh. Off to a great start. Oh, I even closed the door. All right, hold on a sec. Uh, Organ on. Seriously, I got like the music way down. Let me see about uh, videos are fine. Organ on. Trying to to make it so we can um, you know, Organ hear them a little on. better. I feel like they're so quiet compared to everything else. All right, let's see how that goes. <clears throat> Definitely a feast for the eyes. We should dig in before they do. I mean, it's more like a feast with eyes, but okay. There's time to tell him everything later, once I find out who's responsible for this mess. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Yeah, but I only looked. It wasn't me who burnt it. Did they add shadows to the character models? Were those there before? I mean, Doc looks like he's better drawn than he was in the previous two games. Um. Hey, Doc. Uh, how's it going? Rufus, the cutter is breaking apart. You've got to do something. And I certainly don't mean chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what else is that? 
But this seemed like the right time to do that. Two lights are blinking on the radar screen. A small green one in the middle and a big red one behind it. It can only mean one thing. We're out of confetti. I don't know. That's... Oh, no. crap. I guess this means Bozo will finally accept the fact that he needs a new cutter. Oh, Rufus, you were so right. You are such a good friend. Ha, it's his own fault. <laughs> what a lard bag. Rufus didn't have a shadow before, if you recall correctly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Nice. Well, it's good that they, uh, you know, added some extra detail and made it look nicer. Looks good. Uh-oh. Right. What's kept you, Argus? I was just talking to the Elysian Council of Elders. They're starting to get nervous. We're on our way, Prime Controller. Inspector Cletus and his companion are on board. There will be no further delays. I should very much hope so. Ulysses, over. Oh, Jesus. Treason! Stop the engines, Argus! Cletus, you have no business here. You're supposed to stay in the cabin until we reach Port of Fisco. That will have to wait. This woman is not my fiance. Put his eyeballs in the waffle iron! I know that. She's a Deponian with a brain implant, which also happens to contain the cartridge with the mind of your fiance. No, it doesn't. Do you think this sounds like gold? Chew flesh from their ankles! Rotten vinegar and. <laughs> Maybe she's about to have, um. Oh, uh, you know, a uh, <laughs> visit from Aunt Flo. Rubbish. That Rufus pulled a fast one on me. We need to turn back. You fool. Excuse me, bailiff, sir. There's something on the track. What do I care? Run it over. We have no time to lose. The inspector has forgotten something important, and he's in trouble if he can't find it soon. Oppenbot, you will go with Inspector Cletus. As you wish, bailiff. Yeah, I was wondering. Um... I I was very confused for a second because you have the VIP symbol and I didn't recognize your name and I was like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. And then I I figured you were probably Zement. I was going to ask, but I was waiting for the dialogue to end. So hey man, good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. I have to now I have to figure out how to say your name properly. Jainton? Is that right, Jainton? Or J. J Okay, let's go, Jayton. Jayton, and you made it you made it harder to say. It doesn't flow as nicely. Jayton, I'm gonna just call you JJ. Phew! Goal! Goal! Hang on, I'm coming. Uh huh. All right. Well, I don't have a lot of options on what to do. Why even give us options if we only have like one? Like I, I, I literally couldn't do anything but. That what? Uh, Close. What do I? What? Ouch! What am I? What do you? What am I supposed to? And what? Oh. Uh, hi. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's talk. Goal. Today. What the heck are you doing? I'm trying to free the cable. Please. Get off there! It's dangerous! And here I was thinking you don't even know that word. Sure I do. Danger is my middle name. Actually, I meant please. But if you want to help, the crane is awfully wobbly. You need to tighten the screws. Mm -mm. Oh, all right. No problem. Oh, boy. Do I even have an inventory yet? No. All right. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, the uh, crane uh, might break at any moment. I need to do something. Anything. You've chosen a romantic location. Well, you refused to go to the theater. Yeah, at least the seats would have been more comfortable. For starters, you might want to tighten the screws. In the meantime, I'll try to free the cable. Consider it done. Uh, all right, so I can only mess with the middle screw. I'd actually like to make my nickname just one letter J. Oh, all right. Well, I'll just call you J. I'll probably forget, but I'm gonna, I'll try to stick to it. Huh? Uh. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh. Let's go. Let's tighten the left screw. Oops. Notice a pattern developing here. Oh, 
solved. Any progress? Well, uh, yeah, there is some uh, progress, uh, so to speak. Uh oh. <laughs> Solid plan. Uh, what have you done? Wasn't me. Damn it, Rufus, we're going to fall. <laughs> no, we won't. I'm slipping. No problem. I've got gotcha. you. Oh. Hold on to gold. What if I don't? What if I don't want it? All right, fine. Uh oh. Uh, oh. Ah! <laughs> well, okay then. Ow! Well, well. Who have we here? Who the hell? That's Rufus, of course. Don't you know anything? And who are you? Oh, uh, just a fan. Don't pay any attention to me. A what? A fan? Exactly. Just carry on, will you? But uh, just a teeny tiny question first. How are you going to get rid of him? How? Uh, what? You know, what spectacular Rufus maneuver are you going to use? Oh, that. Uh... Uh-huh. Yeah, let's let's go with that. This guy looks like I could take him in a fight. Let's let's go with that one. I'm gonna blindside him with a special karate kick. Oh, a high speed shot. This means I need to decrease the exposure time. Karate, high speed shot. All you talking about? You'll see in a minute. <laughs> Wait, I used the wrong type of film. Uh, could you maybe stun him with a different trick? Uh, sure. Uh, not sure if I like the new one more, but also didn't quite like the previous. Your name? Fair enough. I've, that's always such a hard thing. Um, you know, I've gone through a few different online nicknames. It took me a while to come across Risibly. It started as Risible, which is the actual word. Um, which is a actual word. But, uh, I found... <clears throat> it was taken in a few situations, so I went and changed it to Risibly, since that's not really taken anywhere, and then I just started changing everything to Risibly, because it made just made sense to do that. But it took me a while to uh, finally settle on it as a, uh, you know, as a good nickname. It's, it's hard, you know, it's kind of, um, it's kind of your representation of uh, what people associate with you, though it's weird. Um, and none of the other, none of my other previous nicknames, they I, it's like I outgrew them, you know what I mean? Um, the things, uh, like one of them was from when I was a kid, and I'd literally used for years, and I was like, I, it's time I move on from that. And then I used, um, I used the term Bandito as, like, my nickname for a long time, and it it was kind of, it, a lot of people kind of use that, like, it was, it, I ran into other people who used that name, and I was like, that eh, I don't want that anymore, um, because I didn't want to, I don't want my, I wanted my name to be unique, I wanted it to stand out somewhat, but not be, like, you know, a bunch of random ass symbols and shit, you know, XXX, Sephiroth 420, XXX, you know, shit like that. I've always hated names like that, where it's like, I'm just gonna put a bunch of random symbols in there, and that's how you know it's, it's me, it's me. Alright. Let's go with this. I'm gonna tie his shoelaces together. Ah, a close-up shot. He just doesn't have shoelaces. Did you spray the sprocket or something? I don't have shoelaces. Abort, abort! I've got my telephoto lens here, but the adapter is missing. Can we have that shoelace thing on the back burner? Yeah, whatever. This is this is a very strange situation. Poor Gull. Lying around in her underwear. I'll confuse him with my blackout tactics. Ah, a residual light shot. I need to set my flash to the highest level. Blackout? You're bluffing. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I definitely am. <laughs> I'll switch on my night vision, just in case. Mmm. There. Done. Do your thing, Rufus. Man, this is going to be so epic. Um, okay, okay. One, two. 
Got him. <laughs> and uh, Tada! Wow, you actually did it. Yeah. Ah, that's me. You know. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Wait for the photo. And now you're gonna go save Gold, right? Who? Oh, uh, her. Sure. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? One thing at a time. The two of us should have a talk first. Um, we should. Yeah. Fan to idol. Wow, what an honor. What's uh? What made you settle on that name there, Jay? What, uh, does it have meaning? Easy to... What is it? Tell me about it. So, you're a fan of mine. My name is Barry. I traveled for miles only so I could talk to my greatest idol just this once. Well, then let me talk instead of boring me with the story of your empty life. We should use the time for an interview. Uh, really? Shouldn't you be saving gold first? Ah, her. All in good time. A true hero must take care of his fan base. Wow. You really are the greatest. Oh, Jesus. Poor goal. Did you hear about the time I saved gold from the claws of the Organon? Sure. The story about how you caught her when she fell from the sky is legendary. Almost as legendary as your selfless decision to take her back to Elysium, completely disregarding your own best interest. Legendary? It's epic. <laughs> Do you know how I uncovered the Organon's conspiracy? Well, of course. You fought your way through hundreds of Organon soldiers to beat the truth out of Cletus. That's how you learned that the Elysians planning to blast Deponia to pieces, but they have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Prime controller Ulysses and Argos is henchmen. Okay, I see what this is. This fact a secret. And they got Cletus to falsify his report to reflect that. Wow, sounds like you were there. So this is to catch people up if they happened to have not played the other games, I suppose. Oh boy, all right, well, we're gonna keep going anyway. Do you realize it was me who started the rebellion against the Organon? Who else? In the floating black market, you had the idea to look for comrades in arms to fight against the Dark Exchange. That's where you recruit Janosch, Garlith, and Liebold, who happen to be floating past in a pickle barrel. Gosh, he even knows the things I made up. Have you also heard that I prevented the depopulation of the Rust Red Sea? Naturally, you led the rebel attack against an Organon blast tower. You blocked the bomb suspension clamps all by yourself, and then you proceeded to save Gull from the claws of her devious would-be fiancé, Cletus. That's exactly how it happened. <laughs> how about a little photo session? Oh, fantastic! Hmm, let's see. What would be a suitable subject? I could take a picture of you saving Gull. Yeah, but... Then she would be in the picture too, right? Wouldn't that distract unnecessarily from the protagonist? Quite on the contrary. It would emphasize your selflessness. You think so? Mm. All right, then get ready and uh, make sure my selflessness is clearly visible in the picture. All right then. Oh boy. Button, cannon. Off the goal. Goal! I will save you! What are you saying? Ah, oh! My soul belongs to you, my selfless hero. Ah! No, I can't understand a word. Wait, Gold, I'll shoot you free. But you're a crap shot. <laughs> yeah, I'm a crack shot. Ah! Dang, the cannon's aim is off. Trying to create something from your last name, then came to a letter J as a basis. Gotcha. Fair enough. Uh, well, what's the big red button do? A lever. Ingenious! You found the cruiser's manual speed control! Exactly! The manual uh, thing of me. <gasps> I feel another brilliant Rufus maneuver coming up! Yeah, can you try to feel it without making so much noise? Speed up or slow down? Let's, uh. Hmm. Let's Are try you going to start the extreme action now? The 
What? Well, the action! A super extreme Rufus maneuver! Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, totally extreme. This is so exciting! I see. You're forcing me to speed up. Um, I see! You're accelerating the cruiser instead of stopping it like everyone else would have done. That's because everyone else is an idiot. And the cutter being caught in the cogs is part of your plan as well, right? Uh, sure. Oh boy, well, let's try shooting it now. Oh, bummer. No more ammo. Never mind. How you doing there, Goal? Goal, I will save you. Ah, ah, uh, what do you okay. Ah. I'm gonna die soul. Ah. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, I bet if we slow down now, it'll get jammed, oh. or we'll just speed it up Please. more. <laughs> See those sparks fly. <laughs> You know, I stop now. Um, woohoo! Faster still, this is so rad! My coat is on fire, but I'm still very happy to be part of this. Luckily, the Organon is known for its excellent fire protection measures. Dad, that's just propaganda. I bet my boots. Your boots on that. Ooh, free axe. Hose. Use it on Barry. Put out his burning coat right now. This hero is busy saving an actual person. Oh, but a last cool karma. Now who's gonna document my selfless feet? Still really hard to hear him over, you know, all the noise. <laughs> yeah, she's hot. No. <laughs> How about we? Can we put it in the cannon? Now we have a fire hose. Let's do it. Oh, or not. This seems fine. It didn't actually seem to do anything, though. Oh. Uh, what's the point of that? Uh, daredevil. Well. As long as we're here. Hold still. Ah! Uh, what a hero. <laughs> ah! hmm? Did someone leave the window open? So the cutter struck sails, wrecked as Tony's mum scales, and up as much a whale for the long road ahead. Still the mood in the group was just super whoopie doo, yeah, except that they slowly grew ripe for the bad. For they knew that they would have to go on by foot, and no problem for such a walk is all the less stressful if you sing along with a motivating song. And to emphasize this, I flapped the cabin of the coast guys with helium gas. <laughs> I feel like the audio balancing is a little off in this game, but you know, is what it is. Ha! Yeah! And wow! The way I took out that Organon with my shadow attack! Did you see that? For the thousandth time, Rufus. That was so cool! They call him Rufus! Rufus! Oh. Everybody now! He's cool and he's smart! It's something something modern art! What? Hey! Where are you going? There's a hotel down there. I really need a wash. Especially for my ears. But, but... 
Go? Come on, Rufus. Are you, are you mad at me? Dirty, battered, humiliated, all of that. But mad at you? No. It was actually kind of cool. She's really taking a turn. <laughs> oh yeah! Something, something modern art! Haha! <laughs> -ha, stairs! Dark and steep and slippery. Huh. I'd better take a jump. After all, I hate to... fall on my butt that would be too embarrassing all right uh, toilet yeah let's go there first that's the place to be occupied uh, are oh. you ever coming out of there don't rush me I'm suffering from severe temporal diarrhea. Temporal diarrhea? Yes! I'm a time traveler. You mean you come from the future? Nonsense! Oh, hold on. Uh, there is no future. I came from the past to watch the end of the oh, world. Ah, uh, here we go again. Then you're in the wrong place. I'm the guy who's gonna prevent the end of the world. Oh! Mm. That would be very nice of you. Mm. I'm stuck here, you know. Why, is your time machine clogged? Not exactly. Mm. There's no more toilet paper. Hey, that was irony. Naturally, I don't believe a word you've said. Well... <sighs> it wasn't exactly the whole truth. Ha! I knew it! There's... Mm. One roll of toilet paper left, but it's as rough as sandpaper. Oh, oh, and I had the chili during the toxic civil war. Oh. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Whoa. My circuits are scrambled. I shouldn't get up so fast. Or get a little exercise. Whoa! Don't creep up on me like that! Creep? I rang the bell. Phew! I thought it was my tinnitus. It wouldn't surprise me, though. Tinnitus? With all that noise from the cruiser route, not to mention the cold draft or the mold. But I digress. Welcome to the Hotel Menetekel. Would you like to rent a room? Uh... I mean, I'm fairly certain it's tinnitus. Actually, I was just looking for my friends. A geriatric garden gnome, a girly giraffe, and a circus bear in a hat. A them? Yeah, they just checked in. They didn't look like they could afford a lawyer, so I gave them room five. But don't worry. As long as they don't touch any light switches, electrical sockets, or load-bearing architecture, they should survive the night, provided they stay in the room after midnight, of course. Which reminds me, do you happen to have unfinished business with demons, dark gods, or the recently dead? Uh, not that I know of. Super! That's all right then. You have no idea how squeamish some insurance companies can be when it comes to supernatural causes of death. Here's your key. Please have a pleasant stay here at Hotel Menetekel. Oh, that was easy. Uh, thank you, uh, my good man. Are you insinuating that this place is haunted? Not at all. We're safe here in reception. It's the rooms I'd worry about, especially room 13. Why? What's wrong with room 13? Mm, let's just say it was a mistake to bury the Indians there. Oh yeah, and an apocalyptic cult has occupied the laundry. So if you need clean bedding, you should make sure you don't carry any religious insignia or virgins with you. Uh-huh. How will I find my room? Oh, probably horrible. I wouldn't want to spend the <laughs> night in there. Oh, why do I bother? Mini Tekel. This is a strange name for a hotel. You think so? It's Mini Tekel. I've always thought the name was cute. It means something like impending doom. That's what I mean. Who wants to live with impending doom? 
Don't we all do that? Uh, right, but if you have a choice. But you don't. Or have you seen another hotel around here? Fair point. It makes a good point. Strange location for a hotel, right under the Organon cruiser roof. Hmm, you think so? Our surveys have shown that this is the ideal location for customers in our target group. Ugh. People without a sense of smell? People who are so desperate that they'll accept anything. <laughs> them. Haven't you heard the rumor that Deponia is going to be blown up? Of course. That's why popcorn is sold out everywhere. Well, it's all true. But I'm the one who's going to prevent it. That's fantastic. I thought I would wind up having to do that. What? For one thing, I was forced to clean the toilet this week. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> Got me. Of course I didn't clean the toilet. That'll be the day. Hello, I'm talking about the greatest catastrophe of all time. Ah, so you've already seen our toilet. <laughs> I'm going to my room. Yeah, do that. I won't stop you. And before you ask, that does not constitute an act of negligent bodily harm. We've had that checked. Uh, well, let's let's go over here. Do we find the room? I will gladly take these things. They are mine now. They were left out in the open, and that means that I am allowed to take them. Let's see if there's anything left in here. <laughs> uh, there actually was something left in there. <laughs> Dust! <laughs> the hell was that? Oh, I got dust. Uh, just wondering which one of your nicknames do I like more? Um. Ah, oh, man. That's a tough question. I've known you longer as a man, so that's just, in my head, that's what I associate you with. I mean, that's just kind of, um, the nature of that. Uh, it's also easier to say than Jainton. Flows easier. Um. But that may change over time. It, it's sort of in the way that uh, I can't wrap my head around um, <laughs> uh, catfish. Uh, uh, I can't even remember what his t which nicknames were what now. Um, Mr. Is it? It's Mr. Good Cat, I think, and a grinning fish. Yeah. Uh, I can't, I, I've got so long, you I got so used to, I can't speak today, good god. I got so used to calling him Fish for so long, and then he came back and he had a new nickname of Mr. Good Cat, and I, it just felt weird calling him Cat, uh, after calling him Fish for so long, so it just became Catfish. Um, so it's just... It's an association thing. I've, I've associated you in my mind as Zement for quite a while. So to me, that's what's naturally in my mind. I don't think much of modern art, but this is good. It's drawn from the perspective of a person who unsuspectingly opens the urn of his dear departed mother and then dies of a heart attack because of the spring-loaded flowers popping out at him. <laughs> what a pity it's hanging so crooked. Aha! Here, we have the perpetrator. Huh, a nut. Who needs tools when he has hands like vice grips? So us, we need tools. Pretty slippery, my vice grips. Okay, I don't know what that... nut is even all about. Oh! Reception's right here. <coughs> so my guess is, is that... I need to rotate it so we get a different room. That's gonna affect that, and then it'll change what keys are where. We'll get a different room key. Oh, I see. They, these are all these the same place. Okay. I have two entrances and exits. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, 
the hell is this? Eaters, levers, eye vending machine. Trash bin. You can find the craziest stuff in the trash. Huh, a pelican. That's not crazy. Mildly odd, maybe. Hmm, okay. Yeah, flow is kind of worse. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, you got time. You know, it's kind of you're you're discovering how you want to identify yourself. So you got to be happy with it. It's it's less about you know what anyone else thinks, especially me, um, and more about are you happy with the name? Does it feel good to you? Huh? Easy. I hear something. And the destroyer will pass through this door, and he will bear the sign of the beast. I know that voice. That's and A dull knocking will precede his arrival, and he will say... Ow! Oh, oh, that's gonna, that's leave, gonna a leave a bum. bum. Hey! Don't mock me! You... Wait a second. I know you. You're very busy. No, you're the guy with the pipe. The soothsayer from Porta Fisco. No, I'm not. You're a liar. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, which basically disqualified me from being a soothsayer, doesn't he? Uh, that's just hair splitting. <laughs> you know, we're just asking because you're not sure yourself. Hey, fair enough. It's, it's a really hard decision, in my opinion. It's hard to figure out, you know, um, it's hard to choose a name. It is, because you're, you're, it's how you're seen, it's kind of in a way, sort of, how you define yourself online. So a name can s say a lot, it can say a little, and you have to be comfortable with what it says about you. In that short little, just boom, there it is. Um, and it's, it's easy to come up with a name and then be like, man, I, I thought I liked this and then I don't. All right. I still think you're the fortune teller. Ah, I'm often confused with someone else. For example, with Ansgar Meatcap, the famous hat model. Are you pulling my leg? Why? We go to the same barber. Come on, I recognize you. What are you hiding? Hmm? Nothing. Unlike Ansgar, that vain fop. Hmm. Been using the previous one for years. It's quite odd to see the new nickname in chat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's an adjustment period for yourself. It's like wearing a new shirt that you haven't normally worn and is a style that you're not familiar with. So you're like, is this, is this me? Does this, you know, does this suit me or not? You know, and sometimes just the newness looks odd, but once you get used to it, it works. Or sometimes you get used to it and you go, mmm, you know what? I don't think this, I don't think this is right. Oh, you're, I, I feel like you're doing the right thing. You're, you're trying it out. You're trying it on. You're trying your name on, and you're seeing how it fits. Are you planning on going on a journey? Just a little fishing trip. But it looks like you've completely pulled up stakes. I'm hunting big fish. And that's why you're taking all your living room furniture? My house sitter has the mumps. Hmm. What was that mumbling just now? Are you talking to yourself? I don't know what you're getting at. It sounded like some sort of dubious apocalyptic sermon like you might expect from some sinister sect leader ah yes that i was just rehearsing a song for my niece's birthday party and the destroyer will come through this door Beepo, the destroyer king of comedians do 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 da and he will bear the <laughs> sign of the beast he bears the sign of the beast he does an elephant impression hey congratulations Emil Louis Emil Louis yes yeah, a popular girl's name on the Chateau coast <laughs> mm. 
What's with the strange outfit? Are you in bath some robe. weird sect? This is just a bathrobe from the hotel. Oh, yeah? Did the hotel also embroider the end is nigh on there? Probably. They mean the end of the early bird booking period. The end of the early bird booking period is nigh. Book your vacation at Hotel Meniteco now. Hmm. Stop pretending. I see through you. Oh, dear. That was to be expected. Of course, you were right. I am the fortune teller. But I don't like to use my abilities. Oh, yeah. There's nothing but junk on for the future, right? More precisely, there's nothing on. The world is coming to an end. Huh? Yes, that was also my first reaction. The second was to pack all my things up and run away. But that's nonsense. I know. One cannot escape one's fate. Exactly. You have to come to terms with it. What? No! That is why I gathered like-minded people around me, to prepare for the unavoidable together. You founded an apocalyptic sect? Hey, can you think of a better time? I mean, got a point. The world won't end today. Correct. It will happen tomorrow. Shortly before the late news. Ha! Not if I can prevent it. Also true. Unfortunately, you can't. Tch, we'll see about that. Wrong. Our mm. eyes will have long since burned away when it happens. Oh, you know better about everything, huh? Yes. An occupational hazard. I'm gonna put a stop to your bunch of superstitious yahoos. But we aren't doing anything wrong. Oh, of course not. You just want to call down the end of the world. Oh, we do not. The end can no longer be stopped. All that is left to us is to prepare for it spiritually. Spiritually? I see. So you're getting hammered. A sort of rap party for the planet. Quite the contrary. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. <laughs> so just soft drinks? I'd rather go to the real Satanists. At least they know how to party. Also fair. I mean, if the world's ending, it ain't, it ain't gonna matter how bad your hangover is. What makes you think the world will come to an end? The signs were clear. Last night, the horizon was in flames. Oh, you don't mean my barbecue, do you? Then it rained fire from the heavens. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have used the cheap briquettes. And frogs? I, I told Doc they weren't done yet. Finally, the water of the ocean turned to blood. Okay, I get it, I get it. My little barbecue party got a bit out of control. So what? But that doesn't make me a horseman of the apocalypse. Yeah, I, I know it said so on the flyer, but that was just for PR. Can I have your robe? No, but if you participate in our ritual, you will get your own. Are you nuts? There's absolutely no way I'm going to take part in your eerie apocalyptic sock hop. <laughs> it is a self-purification ritual to cleanse you of your sins. It is a matter of symbolically washing ourselves clean of our sins before the end comes. What sins? I'm busy saving the world, strictly speaking. I'm sort of a saint, and I already washed this week. I have seen it otherwise. What are you doing here, anyway? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. All right, then. I see. Well, this could Let's take... Let's stick to away. being as big of a dick as we can. Yeah, you're beyond help. As are we all. Uh, I'm gonna take a toothpaste. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby, just with fewer cavities. Thank you. I can put something in his hood. Tarantula. Mr. Toffee. Weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Hey! Leave Mr. Toffee alone. Hmm... the dust in his hood absurd humor is okay in itself but i can't waste this unique opportunity on another cheap pun i'm thinking of the fans who love my pranks for their cryptic ambiguity all right we'll come back to that huh, locked 
Doc? No answer. Huh. Locked. Goal? No answer. But there's somebody in there. I hear voices. Hmm. Uh, you probably consider removing the end letter, shorten it to Jayton. Yeah, I mean, it's simpler. Ooh, pillowcase. There's nobody here. <laughs> That's nice. Then I can come in. That Wenzel? What? No, stop. Too late. Uh, hello? You there? Under the sheet? There's nobody under the sheet. Don't be silly. I can see you. You're seeing a ghost? Can't be. I don't believe in ghosts. Especially not the creepy sort that hang around in dark hotel rooms and are eternally trapped between worlds until their poor souls finally find release. I'm not a ghost. And it would be a release if you would disappear. Not so hasty. If you aren't a ghost, <clears throat> what are you doing here all by yourself? In the dark, right next to that peephole into the next room. <laughs> um, I... Ooh, I am a ghost! <laughs> Go away, or you will feel my supernatural ghostly strength. Unless, of course, you're from room service. Hmm. <laughs> But isn't the next room a closet? Because if we came in this door, the closet was right here. Well, unless this is behind the closet, like the closet ends here, like the closet was just a small little space. That could be. I am room service. Very well. Then please clear away the dishes by the door. Huh? But there aren't any dishes. But... Oh. Just a sec. There's something here after all. Ow! Shards! Ow! Another shard! And... Aha! Uh -huh, this isn't a shard. It's a knife. Ouch. Fish knife. Oh. Hey, stay by the door where I can see you. Well, I thought I was supposed to go away. Yes, right. Go away. Hey, can't you make up your mind? I wonder if we can come in from the outside. Uh, before I go... Oh my, this is where the sheet hits the fan. Hey, why does a ghost need room service? <laughs> to change the sheets. Keep your hands off my sheet! Huh. Sure thing. I can imagine how uncomfortable it is when the edge gets tucked so far under the mattress. A friend of mine once got caught in a laminating machine. He cried all night long. Fortunately, I remembered how to shut the machine off the next morning. Uh, uh-huh. But as I said, this is not about the sheet. Just clear away the dishes. And why do you need dishes? For a midnight snack? Oh, yeah. Logical. Can I turn on the light? There is no light here. Only darkness and shame. Charm? Shame! Oh yeah, charm. I'm very charming. No shame! Good grief, you must know shame. Oh, uh, yeah, shame, of course. <laughs> Those little, uh, shame-shaped things. Shame, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, nice sheet. Keep your hands off my sheet! Do you need it much longer? As long as you're here, yes. All right, so I apparently need... Cheat. I need the bathrobe for some reason. I don't think you're a ghost. And how, may I ask, did you come to that conclusion? Very simple. Ghosts only appear to those who blame themselves for something. They're sort of like a guilty conscience made material. Uh, guilty conscience? Me? You have some ideas. You better believe me. I blame myself for absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Everybody has some guilty secret. Hmm. All right. What's your guilty secret, then? Isn't it obvious? You're a bedwetter? Rubbish. Look at where I am. In a dark hotel room. Next to? A hole in the wall. And what does that tell you? Oh, I got it. You like to drill holes. No. Huh? 
But, uh, wait a second. You don't mean... Yep, I like to listen to people while they sing in the shower. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any guilty secrets. Not yeah, a single one. Why else would Gold take me with her to Elysium? In the short time we've known each other, I've already thrown her from a moving Organon cruiser twice, poured espresso made from battery acid down her throat, uh, split her mind into three, and this morning, I accidentally grouted the baby turtle she tried to nurse back to health with quick-drying cement. But she forgave me for everything. My conscience is clear. Have you ever thought that maybe it isn't a matter of whether this goal forgives you, but whether you forgive yourself? Whoa, that would be totally egotistical. I don't think so. Uh, okay, fine, I forgive myself. There, and now? What, and now? Well, you're still here. If you were really a manifestation of my guilty conscience, wouldn't you have dissolved now or something? <sighs> Maybe I have to forgive myself. Of course! Just like in My Friend the Phantom Astronaut. Yeah, let's let's get a let's get Come a Come on, hop to it. Just just forgive yourself. It's not that easy. I am really very ashamed of myself. Well, how are you gonna find redemption then? Well, I thought I'd just stand here in the dark and fight against it. Oh man, what a crybaby. <laughs> Ah, guilty schmilty. Let's talk about something else. Gladly. Well, I was just leaving. I should be so lucky. Excuse me? Um, uh, be gone. Be gone! Ooh! Ooh. Oh, that's better. All right, so we'll probably need to do something in a shower to uh, get somebody to sing in the shower or something. Um... Oh, these are my room, huh? Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch. Got it. All right. Um, so what am I looking at here? Oh, no. Oh, are you are you one of these weird ass puzzles where I gotta light everything up in the right order? Ah, oh, crap! Crap! That's not gonna work. I need to get all three in the middle somehow. Uh, I need the middles to be the opposite of what they are. If I do that. flips all wait what's this button do we haven't even tried this button oh god damn it there is a diagonal
don't even know what that lever's for. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. It's not right. It's not right what I'm trying to do. I hate these. I'm bad at these. These drive me nuts. Because I need these to be the other. Ah, uh, flab, flab, flab them. Anything. Whoa! With a fun slime troll and one out of every five pies! Right, Rad! And all these years, I thought they weren't allowed to make these anymore. Okay. Um. Hmm. Alright, how do I get this to switch around? Get the diagonal that turns blue, these are red. Uh I feel like I'm on the right track here. I just want to make sure I do this in the right way. If I hit the diagonal now, That'll be blue. No, that's not what I want, is it? Uh, oh, shit. It's killing me in the brain. Don't think that's what I want.
Um. Huh. Nope, nope, nope. How about now? We hit the button diagonal. No, damn. We're so close, I feel, but it's just my I'm I'm not getting there. That's the opposite of what I'm going for. Uh, huh. Closer, but at the same time, not. This just takes me back to where I was. One in the middle. Oh god damn it! I hate these. I hate these so much. I hate these so much. I don't know what this lever does. Is the lever just reset? I'm sorry. Are you telling me I had a thing that could reverse what I had put on the thing? This whole time and I didn't know it. Well, that might help. Son of a bitch. Is that not what I want? I don't want uh, all red. What about all blue? <laughs> Did it. Okay. Rufus one, entropy zero. Cool. What did I accomplish? I did a thing, and I, I don't know what for. Who needs change when he's got magic fingers and an undeniable knack for vending machines of every sort? Ouch. I have no idea what I've accomplished doing this then. I did it. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. Oh, hi guys. Hey, what's going on here? Boom, hum, kumbaya. Uh, okay. Uh, hello, you, uh, <laughs> you friendly hooded people who clearly belong to a uh, non-violent organization. Um, are you standing in line for the washing machine? Hum, hum, kumbaya. Dooba, 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 Shh. Uh, you wouldn't mind if I, <laughs> if I go first, right? Okay. Act weird once for sure, no problem, pal. Hum, hum, kumbaya. Cool. <laughs> then if if I could just uh Hum hum kumba no <laughs> Darn. Alright, so oh Bozo suit. Thank you. Coat hanger. Thank you. Uh am I able to go down here and that's pretty huge, considering nope. there isn't a single bit of clean laundry in the entire hotel. Um, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> is this gonna take long? Hum, hum, kumbaya. Darn. Hmm. All right, what do we got? Let's look at our things. We got room key five. A salt shaker, pepper shaker, corkscrew, dust, coat hanger, bozo suit, fish knife, pedal case, 
Toothpaste. Ah, Dentosaurus. Put a dino on your toothbrush. Hey, that's the same brand I used as a kid to fake having a fever. Huh. Says here, Dentosaurus toothpaste is a chemical waste product and not suitable for internal use. Possible side effects. Fever. Sweaty feet. Permanent loss of the awareness of danger. <laughs> Under no circumstances <laughs> may Dentosaurus toothpaste be mixed with rug cleaner because dangerous chloroform gas may develop. <laughs> wow, I should read hazard warnings more often. I mm -hmm. actually thought toothpaste was useless. Like we're getting something there. All right. Um... We gotta mess with him somehow. Mess with his hood. Take a look around again. Doc? No answer. Go? No answer. I don't know what room is what. <laughs> it fits. Oh, okay. Uh... Ah, there you are. And wow, what is all this stuff? Did you just set it up? No. Neurofusion chambers are standard in this hotel. Of course we did. Huh, pretty speedy. And uh, what does one do with a uh, neuro thingy? Can you watch scrambled channels? <laughs> That too. But most importantly, it will repair Gold's brain implant. Brain? You know, remerging the aspects of her character. Yes. Her entire consciousness was stored on a cartridge. Right, together with the ascension codes. That you need to gain access to the high boat. For those exactly. that just joined After us. After this procedure, Goal will be her old self again. And then you can make use of this shower. Shower? Why? Uh, for the Ascension customs? Or did you think they'd let you into Elysium like that? What? And just what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying, considering everything we know about that Cletus. He is an extremely clean person. So, if you want to pretend to be him, shower. Hey, let me deal with that. You take care of Goal. Or do I have to help you with that as well? Not necessary. It's almost ready. Cool. Uh, almost? So I'm guessing when we did the weird box puzzle thing, made the room cold, which is what's happening here, uh, I don't know why. I guess it's gonna have something to do with his clothes that I picked up. Oh, what do you mean, almost? Oh, uh, nothing bad. I just have to calibrate the data interface. Uh, and once again, I have to do all the heavy lifting, right? N not at all. No problem. I can fill a uh, data thingy with one hand tied behind my back. You just have to press here. And Rufus, no! That throttles the fuel rods. Ah, they can handle it. Uh, Rufus, this calibration is really much too easy for you. Why don't you take care of the much more difficult professional mission? Professional mission? Of course. Doc still needs this thing that can't be found in this hotel room. Oh, um, <laughs> exactly. That, uh, uh plasma... Uh, exchange. Uh, whoop de doo uh, uh, Mammoth fur. Relay. A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? Hard to come by. Huh, for beginners like you, maybe. But for a pro like me, it'll only take a jiffy. All right, we gotta find uh, whatever the hell they just said was. Can I take this? No, Rufus. I need the one-third screwdriver for the operation. And I need it to randomly combine with items. Accurate. I said, hands off. All right, all right. May I borrow your bag? Sure, go ahead. So far, you've only taken away my home and my livelihood. Mm -hmm. Why not also take the bag with the last of my possessions? Hey, <laughs> cool. Thanks. Very considerate. 
Ah, it's stained. Hey, that was irony. I thought as much. Yeah, maybe next time you shouldn't put it next to the toilet when you're taking a pee. Anything inside of it? Let's see what Bozo carries around. Do it right in front underwear, of him. Underwear, a three-person tent. No, no, wait, that's even more underwear. But, hey, what's this? Shampoo! Do I hold here in my hands the secret of his gleaming curls? <gasps> There's a handwritten label on the bottle. My dearest honey bear. <laughs> honey bear. <laughs> I've packed some of my special homemade shampoo for you. It contains the secret ingredient that gives you such a glorious full head of hair. So take good care of it. After all, your baby brother had to do without his breakfast for it. Ugh. What was toothpaste combined with to make chloroform? Dentosaurus toothpaste is a possible side effect. <laughs> Under no circumstances may Dentosaurus toothpaste be mixed. So probably not what's in the shampoo. Uh... Right. Hey, Doc! <sighs> For the thousandth time, Rufus, you'll only get your ball back when you tell me how the leftover pudding got into my particle accelerator. <laughs> First of all, that wasn't pudding. And second, and... How's the calibration coming? It would go a lot faster if you... <clears throat> got a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth for a relay, right? Um, exactly. Hey, what would you ever do without me? I have to go. You've kept me from my vital professional mission for too long. The farther you are from the room, the less we can bother you. Hey, Bozo, you old pirate. Go ahead and say it. Huh? Nah. How can you be a pirate without the cutter? I was going to say, you old liver spot repository. <laughs> you better get dressed. You don't want to shock Gold into another coma as soon as she wakes up, do you? Yeah, so I guess maybe it was too warm and he didn't want to get dressed, so now he's cold and he'll want that. Wasn't that awesome before? I suppose. Ah, you're unhappy, aren't you? Unhappy doesn't even come close. I certainly would be in your place. <laughs> After all, you slept through all the cool action. Come on, give me a smile. Why should I? My cutter is wrecked. Aw, oh, it's not the end of the world. The world is ending. Not until tomorrow morning. And there's nothing to eat here. And I'm hungry. Ugh, complain, complain, complain. You almost sound like my ex-girlfriend, Tony. Or my ex-best friend, Wenzel. Or anybody else who spent a lot of time with me. And that doesn't make you think. <laughs> a whole lot more would have to happen to make me think. Yeah, that was my impression, too. <laughs> now, don't you think we should get dressed? I can't. My clothes are in the laundry. And if I bring them to you, will you finally cover up then? Why should I? Uh... Oh, so I need a towel is what I'm going for. I gotcha. You must be freezing. It is a bit drafty. I think the heater is on the blink, but, well... For a real pirate. You? A pirate? Who convinced you of that rubbish? Oh, it was you. Oh, <laughs> right. Ask a stupid question. I'm honored that you're trying to emulate me. But face the facts. You'll never be a go-getter like me. Come on, crawl into your soft and cuddly placenta fur coat and... Ah, forget it. Now I'm definitely going to sit here in the cold. I don't even care if I catch the whooping pox. Hmm. Your nakedness is throttling my sense of aesthetics. Oh! Oh! Ah! Especially when you do that thing with your leg. <laughs> After all, there's a lady present. Cole? She seems rather absent to me. And as long as she is, why would you begrudge me a little leg room? <laughs> you have no idea how hard it is to find pants that fit in my size. All right. 
There's an absent lady present. <laughs> but is that a reason to asphyxiate her? She's already blushing. Um, Rufus, I think you're standing on her breathing tube. Huh? I, whatever. This isn't about any stupid tubes. This is about, uh, um... Leg room? Exactly. Not that I have any less leg room. I'm thinking about Doc, too. Don't worry about my leg room, boy. Speaking of which, how come we never see your legs, Doc? Let's just leave it at that. Don't worry. Whatever. I need your towel. Try to okay. him. No, no, no. Ah. You just don't know <laughs> what you want. <laughs> New eyes. I'm telling you, you're gonna catch the whooping pox. Rubbish. My tongue would be completely blue. I would have a cough, the sniffles, and a fever. Blue tongue, cough, sniffles, fever. Got it. Rufus, you aren't planning to infect me with whooping pox, are you? Uh, 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 uh. I only said you would catch it. How you do that will be my little secret. All right, so the pepper's going to be uh, make do whatever sneeze. you want. Okay. Eh. Hey. <laughs> Except that thing with your legs. Ugh, anything but that. <laughs> Didn't you just say you were hungry? What? I probably got to give him the that? pie. Oh, yeah. They call it selective perception. Sort of a mental superpower that separates the wheat from the chaff. Chaff in the left half of your brain. Wheat in the right. <laughs> yeah. Ain't I something? If you want to get me something to eat, there's a pie vending machine in the okay. basement. Eh, we'll see. First, I have to find out if that will get me anywhere. What? Well, I bring you something to eat, and then <laughs> I also get something out of it. That's the way it works. What about a good feeling for having done a friend a favor? Huh? No, not like that. I meant something useful. A uh, bait fish or something. Ugh. Sorry, I've got to go. Don't take it personally. It's just your disgusting appearance. Ugh. My eyes are smarting already. Ugh. I'll save you. And then it's off to Elysium. Let's check the intercom. Hello, reception? You are a dead man. I'm what? <laughs> Little joke. This is reception, of course. Always at your service, unless you're the guy stuck in the elevator. Elevator? I have the one line elevator, not here? have the Neither have I. Noise That's on. why I can't help you. Please get off the line. Wait, I'm calling from my room. Well, well that's different then. What's your room number? Huh. Room three. Ah, I finally got a hold of you. I've got a number of complaints about you here. Noise disturbance, odor disturbance, regular disturbance, molestation. Oh, no. Wait, those are about me. Whatever. More importantly, you still haven't paid for your delivery. Why do you need all those chickens anyway? Uh, did I say room three? Uh, no, of course, I meant room nine. From the cursed room. Well, the most cursed. Why can't you just leave me alone? I've done everything you demanded. The old married couple, the friendly author, even the young actress. All dealt with. All right, <laughs> I didn't put fresh sheets on your beds, but I have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, did I say room nine? Uh, of course, I meant room one. That's impossible. Room one hasn't been rented out. And there are no voices from the beyond there, either. Unlike in the other rooms, come up with a better story. Oh, did I say room one? <laughs> uh, no, of course, I meant room five. Really? You loser. Uh, how can I help you? Tell me. Let's try that. You wouldn't happen to have a plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay? It's possible. Wait a moment while I check in the basement. Hey, I can hear you breathing in the receiver. Mm, you caught me. Nevertheless, you still have to pay your bill for internal telephone calls. Can I do anything else to you? I'd like to eat something. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you picked up your menu from reception? 
We urgently need fresh towels. Oh, then you're in the wrong hotel. We haven't had anything like that for years. But what am I supposed to take home as a souvenir? Uh, how about an infectious disease? Believe me, you'll remember us for years to come, provided the world hasn't ended by then. Can I do anything else to you? Oops. <laughs> Wrong number. No problem. That happens a lot. We think it's because of the electromagnetic radiation from the nuclear waste dump. Or the Indian burial ground. One of those. Alright, so I gotta figure out something to do with room one, I guess. Mammoth fur? Really? And whoop de doo Alright. <laughs> Alright, um... No answer. Uh, that doesn't fit here. Worth a try. So I probably gotta figure out how to. Um. I should go back out here and see if there's anything I can do. Oops! No, no, no! I didn't mean to knock. I don't know what to do about the pie vending machine. Uh. What I got? A terrible what idea. What a bummer. The vending machine only takes coins. Coins. Uh, no. Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. Uh, may I? My goodness. Pretty snappy for somebody who doesn't have any teeth. But just you wait. I'll stuff your big mouth. Pillowcase? Huh. Doesn't seem to like that. Although the same is true for the fish guts. No. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep looking around. Check this closet again. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, this pressure! What if I fail, and the world really does end? Oh no! I am the greatest. <laughs> well, you know, got that out of our system. Anything up here? No. Okay. Oh, Cletus! Oh, that's the last thing I need. And the suit must be cleaned on a cold wash. Do I make myself clear? As clear as clay. My assistant will pick it up tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, fill out the registration, Oppenbot, and take good care of the bag with the money. Apparently, only rabble work in this so-called hotel. Somebody works here? Excuse me, Inspector, but isn't that the bag with my plasma exchange whoopie do mammoth fur relay? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. <laughs> the bags are identical. Yours is already in our room. And that's where I'm going to retire now. I hope it isn't as shabby as the service here. All right, so now he's in room one. Whew, close shave. I hate that stuck-up idiot. Better stay alert. He must be looking for gold. But at least I know where I can get that plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Can I just take the bag? Hmm. If I just take it, Oppenbot will notice and sound the alarm. What's missing here is a plan full of arrows and catapults and pitfalls and unpredictable twists. Or at least a couple of cool 3D special effects. Okay. Uh, can I use a corkscrew to... <laughs> that would work not. Okay. I can't swap it with this bag, can I? All right, let's take a look. Uh, I'm curious. Mm, rare porcelain. Antique crystal. Uh, shards, shards, and more shards. What's he gonna do with all these shards? Uh -huh. Money! Money's good, uh, but we need coin money. I 
I better stay undercover. The feeling they wouldn't let me go out there. All right. Uh. The laundry have a coin machine. Uh-huh. So I need to have... I knock and get Cleus' attention. Hello? Anyone out there? Um, no. J just the wind. <laughs> Nailing it. That was to be expected. Not even the wind knows how to behave here. Duh. All right, so I gotta get rid of this guy somehow. Um, this becomes chloroform if I can combine it with a carpet cleaner, but I don't think I have one. Let's... I'm carrying around an amazing amount of toiletries. If that's supposed to be an omen, consider it hereby ignored. Very impressive. I never knew that salt could get moldy. Hmm. Dr. Queasy's pep snack. Contains at least 20% pepper. Also try Dr. Queasy's reptile chow, Dr. Queasy's bait bugs, and Dr. Queasy's all-purpose roaches. Hmm. I mean, with a name like Dr. Queasy, you know it's quality. I don't really have chain pie machine. I think I have to get rid of the guys in the laundry room and there'll be like a change machine behind where they were standing. That's my guess. Can we just can we just stab this man? Absurd humor is okay, but I can't I'm thinking. I see that you are desperate, Wood. <laughs> Give yourself a break. No, Your shut up. Fate is already written. That may be, but nobody can read the writing. That could mean anything. Combine the One causes dust. coughing, the other sniffles. <laughs> that makes 50% of the symptoms of whooping pox. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, tongue blue, which I think will be the pie. Might be the toothpaste used for that. Or maybe the shampoo. What did I need for him? I assumed it was get somebody to uh, sing. Before I go, oh my, this is where the sheep. And I'm sticking with it. No haunting without a guilty secret. Yes, and? Yeah, what was your guilty secret again? I like to listen to. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta do something with that. I gotta. I should excuse. Um, oh, that. Let me see. Uh, what if I go and use these on him? <coughs> huh? You see, I knew you'd catch a cold. Hey, Jiko. It's just the dust. I have an allergy. Well, then we found just the right hotel for you, didn't we? It's weird that he has money. Uh, 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 huh, you see? I knew you'd catch a cold. Ah, uh, rubbish. That's just pepper that you tossed in my face. And I don't even want to know why you did that. Well, let's call it curiosity. I wouldn't call it anything, or there will be tears later. Hey, Bozo. Come on, please. I owe my clothes and any wise. I'm was telling it? symptoms. I would Blue, have a cough, cough the sniffles. sniffles, and a fever. Blue. Oh, something caused fever. Uh, Wasn't the toothpaste caused fever? Okay, so that's three of the items. I just need to put them in a pie. Have them eat it. Wait, how's it gonna turn blue though? Okay. Shampoo. <gasps> There's a hand, my dear. I've packed some of my. It contains the secret ingredients. So take good. After all, your baby. Maybe. All right. 
Maybe it'll take dollar bills. It probably won't. What a bummer. The vending machine only takes coins. Okay. Well, we need a change machine somewhere. All right. Uh, got a leak. I assume we come out from another room up here, and that lets us uh, interact with the leak. Trash bin. Good. If we can get rid of this bird. How do I get rid of you, bird? Hook you with a coat hanger. <laughs> Doesn't seem to like that, although the same is true, but... By the way, how are you doing, Jiko? I'll just stab him. The last thing that's missing here is table manners. Well, I'm holding space bar. I tried that. My bag. Get in the bag, bird. Bird <laughs> bag. Doesn't all over this. The pelican won't let me dig through the fish guts, even though it's just half-heartedly poking around at them. I can see that it's not hungry. Not hungry. I need something to stuff its mouth. Tired but full of pizza and coffee. Ice. Want money? I'll give you money to leave. Huh. What would happen if I threw my money into this trash can? Congratulations. You have decided to purchase Epic Micro Item of Uselessness. Epic Micro Item of Uselessness will be added to your inventory. No, no, stop. No, I'm stop, doing it. Stop, 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 stop. Who? That was close. Oh. Wanted to do it. Huh. What? Give me. No, no oh, stop. Who? Fine. What happens if I click no, though? Huh. No, no, stop. Okay, Ooh. same thing. Damn. I wanted it. Talk to toilet guy again. Occupied. Uh. Oh, come on. You can't stay in there forever. I most certainly can. I have a time machine. I mean, that's a fair argument. How, how have my bits been today? What? Sounds like, oh, man. I fear for your prom night. All right, so they won't let me go down there, right? Um, <laughs> is this guy? Oh, darn. Okay, so I can't really do anything with them. Uh, I mean, unless I had the robe or the sheet or something, maybe. That's hardly any use as a spread. Spread. I knew it. Toothpaste is useless. That's hardly any. That's hardly it. All right. So it's got to be uh, the the guy. Seer. Got to figure out something to do with him. How do I get rid of you? Can I bother you again? Yes, you seem oh, wait. to have a penchant for that. Oh, the bit rate. Um, well, we just had some drop frames. Um, but otherwise it's been solid. It's been good. Uh, in fact, I missed when it happened. But we've been okay. Uh, turning off low latency mode seemed to have fixed the bouncing around it was kind of doing. And overall, it seems more stable. We've only dropped a little bit of frames. We'll see how things go. Uh, Your pals are clogging up the laundry. Patience, my friend. I think I have Don't to talk about his appearance. Yeah, what are they waiting for then? I need to use the washing machine. Well, they are waiting for their guru, of course, for me. Then what are you doing here? I am preparing for my big speech. The world doesn't come to an end every day. I want to look good. What are you doing again? I am preparing. The world doesn't... I see. Well, this could take a while. 
Hmm. What do you? I am the world. I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. No, something's not quite right yet. Perhaps I should pluck my eyebrows again. Okay. So when I say that, he pulls the hood up over his head. Yeah. As are we all. Okay. What can I put in his hood? A boo. Not a single hair in the hood, but where else? I don't understand what he meant by that. Um, pfft. put your toothpaste in the hood. <laughs> but I can't. Okay, no, we did. We tried that, didn't we? Pillowcase. Infesting him with lice would be funny, but unfortunately, he's missing an important prerequisite. Okay, so I need to get him hair somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna get him hair. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Doc. <sighs> Cletus is here. He's moved into the room next door. He's probably looking for gold. Oh. Did he see you? See me? <laughs> You're talking to the master of disguise, the human cloak of invisibility. Sneakity sneaker, the sneak attack on the soft underbelly of injustice. Hey, keep it down in there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, Rufus, maybe it would be better if you stayed in the room for now. Rubbish! You want a, a plasma desma dimmy thingy? Well, I will get you a plasma desma thingy. But Rufus. Shh, you don't want Cletus to hear you, do you? Okay. I, you've kept the far. Nah, blah, 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 blah. Um. Can I just give you your shampoo back? Hey, that's Mama's special shampoo. Give it back. Now that my cutter is wrecked, it's the most valuable thing I own. Yeah? But what about our friendship? Friendship? You've stolen my last possession. Well, <laughs> real friends share everything. How do I get hair? He listens to singing. But where is the singing that he's listening to coming from? I need hair for him, I think. I need coins for the pie machine. I think I need the tools for the key thinger. Is there here? Is there anything up here now? Oh. I usually take my coffee black but it only seems to come in gray-green here. Ah. I think I am at a loss. Uh, there's the pelican in the trash. Something to stuff its mouth. These guys. I feel like I gotta get rid of them by having the guy... I gotta get rid of the seer. Let's see, you're singing. Orkscrew. Huh, I admire its approach. Advance along a circuitous route to the core of the problem, and then... <laughs> Problem solved. 
These things are extremely well suited for digging bits of banana out of high voltage outlets. Hmm. Wow! Freshly washed! <laughs> I don't see a difference. Okay. I reach into the pie vending machine, I get electrocuted. Don't have money, or I don't have coins. Hmm. You want shampoo bird? <laughs> All no. Noticed. One toothpaste. <laughs> Although the same. We're we're just gonna do the guess and check method now. Let's see if. Oh. You need them seasoned. I skipped the dialogue without thinking. I just don't mention it. Didn't think that would work. Oh, I see. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. Okay. Uh, may I? Grab it with a coat hanger? There. Time for a break, herring breath. <laughs> That's what you get, bird brain. Ugh. Slimy. Alright, so we've got a fish now. It doesn't look all that bad to me, and I'm sure the smell will go away when it's cooked. Let's see if I can make something tasty out of it. Ugh, it consists entirely of fermenting gas. Now all that's left are the scales. Everyone said I'd get flaky skin if I didn't wash. Now this fish spends its whole life in the water, and yet... Okay. Rufus has weird interactions with animals. Yeah, he kind of does. Nope. There's no way I'm sticking my hand in there again. It still smells like fish. Uh, no. Wait, that, that, that's my feet. All right. How do I do with fish scales? Put it on the guy's head? Lakey dandruff in a bald man's hood. Ingenious. If there was such a thing as self-marriage, I would propose to myself. I, I think that's just being a bachelor, my dude. Could I bother you again? Yes, you'll see. What do I am the well? I think you look just fine. Oh, you think so? Hmm. Maybe you're right. I... Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, I have dandruff! This is a catastrophe! And I swapped all the hotel shampoo for cigarettes on the bright market! Don't just stand there! Do something! What do you need? You need shampoo? Oh, I have dandruff! Don't just stand there! Do something! Shampoo! My salvation! Out with you! I have to shower! Okay. Huh. Locked. Chit. Paranoid twit. <laughs> the ghost is doing his haunting thing. I won't bother him now. The ghost. I won't. Okay. Now we're on to something. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Ooga, 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 Charlie. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 shalali. Ooga, 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 shalala. All right, creepy. I'm taking your tarantula. Thank you. Uh, can I get that? You can't get at it that way. Uh, I got rid of my coat hanger, so I'm not getting it that way either. Mr. Toffee. Weird name for a tarantula. Hope it's not connected to its camouflage. Hmm.
Ah, this pipe is leakier than a rat's bladder. Can I do anything with that? Can I fill the tarantula thing? The cork could be the right size to seal the hole. I just have to get it off the jar. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, I could really use a cork like this. And you be a good boy and stay in there, Mr. Toffee, okay? Mr. Toffee? <gasps> Where'd he go? Well. Okay. What good does that do me, though? The ghost is doing his haunting. I will. Well, I have an empty jar at least. Mr. Toffee? <gasps> Where'd he go? What do I do with that? <laughs> That'll teach the big mouth a lesson. What do I do with the jar? Um, this room's locked. Can't get the thing. Uh, do I combine these things? The I only can... thing this dust can, but it does. No. Okay. Um. Oops. Doubt I use it with the coffee maker. I don't need any coffee for the current phase of my plan. And conveniently, that's what we have here. No coffee. Time for the next phase. Where would I possibly use the jar? You still need his screwdriver. A one-third screwdriver. How handy. I never fasten screws by more than one-third because at some point they fall out by themselves. Hmm. Intercom. Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Room one. Oh, the inspector again. If this is about the bedding, those aren't spots, just a pattern. Which reminds me, do you often sleep with your mouth open? If so, then... Yeah, 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 fine. This isn't about the bedding. Ah, all the better. How can I help you? Hmm. Uh, I would like to order something sinfully expensive. I'm just gonna resort to pranking. To mm, actually, we don't offer any services in this hotel. But if you want, I can simply tack on a horrendous surcharge to your bill. The item will then appear as an accounting error. Oh, that would be very nice. Oh, uh, no problem. I would have done it anyway. Standard procedure, if you know what I mean. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to dine now. Ha! <laughs> You've got guts. I like that. Have you selected something from the menu? You have kept your menu, haven't you? Oh, the, the menu? Yes, you got it here at reception. You are Inspector Cletus, aren't you? Uh, of course I'm Inspector Cletus. Who else? Uh, slimy hair, slimy character, uh, uh, has no appetite anymore, uh, uh, would rather talk about something else. Uh, uh, Cletus, yes, in the flesh. Oh. I would like to speak to my assistant. Yeah, of course. I'll send him down to your room if that's all right. Oh, why don't you? And uh, tell him to sing the Dum Bum song on the way. <laughs> I'll pass that along. Thank you. At last. Now reception should be free. I just have to make sure I don't run into that Oppenbot. Here comes the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum, the Dum Bum. Oops. Who are you? 
I, uh... Ooh! 30% off on paper clips! What? Where? Rats. Perfect. The coast is clear. Well, except for oil leaks, mold spores, and general carbon monoxide pollution. All right, good. Hey, he's back. Oh, I gotta make sure. You know. Hello. Room. Uh, how can I? Uh, let me ask Is our laundry, laundry done yet? How should I know? I thought it was part of the service. Ah, the service. Yes, I've heard a lot about that, but nothing that has convinced me that it actually exists. I suggest <laughs> you pick up your laundry yourself, instead of relying on some mystic new age pipe dream. Can I do anything else to you? I would like to. Yeah, I'll. So, when? I'll thank you. At last, I just have. Here comes the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the dumb bum, the doopy dim doopy doo doopy dim doopy dim doopy dim dum bum. Yes. What is it? You summoned me to your room. No, I did not. But you did. You just called to reception. I would certainly know what I have or have not done. I'm starting to think you're suffering from acute processor overload. But I heard your voice myself. If you aren't sure what my voice sounds like, then listen and listen well. Never bother me again without a good reason. Understood? Yes, of course. But... But what? Okay. wonder if we have to get a menu. Ah, the guest from number five. Don't worry. The headaches go away after a few days. What? Uh, no. I I'm here about the menu. Hey, <laughs> that's funny. Most guests are gone because of the menu, you know? And our old cook is even in prison because of the menu. Can I have the menu or not? Lickety shit. You just have to sign this waiver form first. Ah, that's a snot rag. Yeah, well, there are just too many possibilities for being harmed by our meals. A form would be way too much work. And our lawyer suffers from depression. So we just copy the guest signature onto the appropriate waiver later. Very economical thinking. And please sign with a W in front. Uh, excuse me? Uh, Woofus? Yeah, the drawer for R is stuck. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Here comes the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum, the dum bum. Well, folks, I've got to go. <laughs> Finally. The dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dopey dim, dum bum. All right, let's see. We didn't get the menu? <sighs> so I've signed a waiver, but I didn't get the thing I need. So do I have to do that again? Just so I can get the damn waiver? Or the damn menu? Hello? Room. Uh, I would like to. Have you selected? I left. <laughs> have the oh. fish brain stew, please. I, mean, I did right. read the menu. It's your life. Meal will be served at 12 on the dot. Please be on time. The dining room is guest to cockroaches, and the stew loves to chase those critters around the room. Yes, fine. Uh, please notify me in good time. All right. Who am I to deny such a courageous man his last wish? Remember, room one, Cletus. 12 o'clock, Cletus. Fish brain stew, shovel, trash bag, all written down. I'll call you. 12 o'clock, understood. Thank you very much. Okay. Ah, because this is a clock. That's part of what I gotta do. I gotta change the clock so that we'll get Cletus out of the room, I guess. I don't know what to do with the jar. I need the tool. I think I need to get in his room. 
to get the thing. I guess not. He didn't have anything else in here. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. Ooga ooga hoo shally. The arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga ooga hoo shallali. Ooga 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 shallala. The only thing here is the... He left his happened? robe lying here. He probably wants room service to take it to the laundry. Can I call to have them pick it up? I don't think I can. There must be a logical explanation for this. Like, for instance, I have achieved the next evolutionary level and developed spiritual superpowers. Reasonable. All right. Um, check the closet again, just in case. <laughs> okay. Nope. Nothing new there. I. Hello. Anyone out there? Um. No. Yeah. Uh... Locked, <laughs> paranoid twit. I can't work on his room. <sighs> Another try. What do I do with the jar? Doc, you want the jar? Hey, Doc, you'll never guess what I... Not now, Rufus. I'm very busy at the moment. Ah, oh, man, you're always busy. The quality of this pillowcase is outstanding. So many head lice can't be wrong. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Maybe I give the pillowcase to the guys at the laundry? Um, excuse me, I, I need to use the washing machine. Home. The iron. Um, I, the iron. I'll give you guys money to go away. Uh, what will it cost to use the machine before you? It will cost you your soul, which will burn in eternal fire. It will cost you your seat at the table of final judgment. It will cost you peace with yourself for eternity. It will cost you everything. It will cost you nothing. Oh boy. <laughs> Can you make change? Yeah, but what's yeah, what's the value of that in in dollars? That's pretty huge considering there isn't a single bit of those are Cletus's clothes. For all I care, they can rot in there. On the other hand, they could be useful. I can't go can't get, get at it that way. First, I have to get the washing machine running again, if that sauna club will let me. How do I get rid of you? Well, this jar is neither half full nor half empty. It's completely empty. These I need for Bozo. Need to get him a pie. Need change. You guys won't give me that change. Um, is this oh. the iron? You know, open flames in a laundromat is <laughs> its really not a good idea. That could burn down half the village. And then everybody points at you again, and they take away your flamethrower and fire the friendly preschool teacher for failing to provide proper supervision. <laughs> I just blow some dust on the fire. How about a little trade? 
Boom, hum, kumba, no. But I didn't even tell you what I... Boom, hum, kum, who cares? Yeah, you have no idea what you're missing out on. Hmm. Hello, reception? Always at your service. What's your room number? Let me see if I can do anything with one, and then I'm gonna try to order food for myself room and see one. if it does anything. Oh, the inspector again. How can I help you? I would like to dine now. Have you selected some? I love me. Please dine in the yes, uh, room. Okay. Remember, please. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Okay, so, no. Hello? Always. Room? Really? Yeah. I'd like to have you select oh, what kind of stupid the only thing on there is fish brain stew Apparently you didn't read the fine print you can choose between fish brain stew and the vegetarian version Made from the awful that smells like fish, but doesn't actually contain any fish huh. Choices choices. I think I'm not all that hungry. Good choice. Can I do anything else to you? Oops <laughs> No. All right, so no help there I'll save you and then she's unconscious again, but this time it's part of the plan. Hmm. How do I get the screwdriver? Hmm. I knew it. Toothpaste is the only thing, but it, this plan could do with some uh, spicing up. But oregano? I don't have to pay. It was a, in the, uh, at first glance, party, but I'm not. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Doc. Mm. How's the calibration coming? It would go. <clears throat> Got a All right, let's look at the thing. Are you gonna clean his room? Clean this from his room. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Take care that it is lunchtime. So I gotta get. Uh, yeah, give me a clue. I know. What? How? Ow! I need this. No, Give it to me. I need the one-third screwdriver. Give for it the to me. And I need it to randomly combine with items. I said, hands off. All right, all right. Why is she unconscious again? I don't know, actually. They didn't really explain that. They, she just, they just stuck her in the thing. I guess to work on her personality thing. But I'll give you money. Hey Doc, you'll never guess. Not I'm very calm. You're always. I don't want to give me a house. No room. I need and I. I saw. Right. Hmm. No roof. I need and I. I saw. All right. Hey Doc, you'll not. I'm calm. You're all. Damn it, man. Hey Doc, you'll never not. I'm very calm. You're all. No roof. I and I saw. All right. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Um, hey, Bozo. Okay, nothing new there. Um, damn. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything that can reach. The robe. I can't mess with these again. Mm. The heating is off, and that's the way it's gonna stay. Not that I couldn't switch it back on any time. I'm thinking here primarily of the environment. Okay. Too late. The pelican has eaten it. Eh, it's my own fault. Curse my culinary talent. 
the pelican and uh, two the pe <laughs> No, it's still uh, Am I supposed to do something to the pelican? Why is he still here? Why didn't they get rid of him? Want to trade? Fish? For... Fine, fine. Forget it. Forget it then. Why is it quack? I already got a fish out of it, I got the fish scale, so I don't think there's anything else for me to do with it. He's no longer in need of worldly goods, assuming his story is true. Talk to the toilet guy again, see if his dialogue's changed at all. Oh, you can't. I... Here, this should work. Mm. Possibly. Oh, but uh, only if you promise to take it to the laundry for me afterwards. Hmm. I think I'll find something better. All right. <laughs> Great idea, but should I really risk such a dear friendship for such a cheap gag? Of course I should. Here, this should work. Are you out of your mind? <sighs> oh, how am I supposed to flush that? Man, you must be from the Jurassic Age. <laughs> Jurassic. <laughs> ass, your ass, Jurassic, Jurassic. It's, it's a... Oh, God. All right. Oh, wipe with paper money. Here, this should work. Oh, that's nice and soft. Ha, thank you. I can finally continue my journey. Here, take this. Huh? What's this? Your change. I didn't use it all. And now, off to new shores. Farewell, end times person. Hey, ho, stop. Oh, great. He's gone. If I didn't constantly imagine things like that, I would probably be really worried now. Well, that was unexpected as the solution to that problem. Oh, that really is a bit rough. Wow, that even outdoes the pharmacy magazine of the blind drugstore owner. And that was in Braille. <laughs> What's going on? A damsel in distress? Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Look in the toilet bowl? Yes. You know, this is where I draw the... Oh, wait a minute. There really is something in the toilet bowl. Oh, boy. Okay, so if you wipe your ass with bills and don't use it all, do coins pop out of your nose? I'm not sure it's the nose where they come out from. That is a toilet freshener. Oh, man. Who throw something that cool into a toilet bowl? Ah. Uh. Well, this has been a fun and disgusting experience. Uh huh. That's, uh... Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem to have a penchant for that. That's, uh... What are you doing? I am preparing for the world doesn't... I think you look... Ooh. Hmm. No, something's not quite... Perhaps I should... Why does he have all this hair suddenly? As are we all. All right, um... God, didn't he say something like, oh, there's no hair there? Oh, that was when I had the shampoo, but I already gave him that, so. Well, let's, let's do what we know we can do and go get the pie. So I assume we can do this. We'll find out we're wrong and something oh, else is Rats, happen. the coin is too big. What good is small change if it isn't small enough? Oh, my friggin' God. Are you kidding me? That really is a bit rough. Maybe... 
Ha! <laughs> it worked! Now that's what I call the inflationary use of bathroom humor. Yeah, finally! All this money changing has made me really hungry. So, I think gonna, I'll you're gonna... let Bozo go first. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wait! It needs artificial coloring! Food must please the eye. Icing on the pie. It does cause a slight fever, but it's also good for your teeth. This is gonna be disgusting. And here we have a very special treat for the taste buds. <laughs> Eat my dust, all you uninspired, risk-averse cooks. Ah, you can never have enough pepper. I hate, <laughs> I hate black pepper. <laughs> oh, don't panic. Oh, it all landed on the pie. All right, I think the pie is ready to go. What have I created? An abomination. Franken pie. What have you got there? Something to eat. What else? A pie? Hmm. Huh. That's really nice of you. Blah. This hotel slop isn't <coughs> very <coughs> tasty. On the contrary, uh, I suddenly feel so. <coughs> uh, how do I feel? Sick? Huh? I think okay. I have a fever. Is my tongue blue? Uh, yeah, like Doc on Barbecue Thursday when there's no more beer. No argument from me. Oh, no. It's the whooping pox, and I'm cold, too. You were right. I need to get dressed as quickly as possible. Could you maybe find my clothes? Oh, the things you do for your friends. Here, I got your clothes from the laundry. Now, please get dressed. I almost yeah. let a man wipe his butt with them. <laughs> Probably right. Thanks, Ruthless. You really are a good friend. Told you so. Here's my towel. That's impressive. That's really impressive. The towel is rock hard. Fortunately, there's soft moss growing on it. There's also a care label with six symbols. It's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. Hey, Bozo. Uh, uh, sorry, I've got to go. All right, still don't know how to get the screwdriver, but we got a nasty towel. What do I do with it? On the surface, there's almost no difference between these textiles, but the expert can spot deviations in the symbols on their tags. Obviously an ancient hieroglyphic script. Okay, that's not helpful. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> but I can't waste this. I'm thinking of the fans. You could make a fortune with this shampoo from Bozo's mama. I'll keep that in mind in case my career as world saver doesn't work out. What do I do to your hair? He's on the huh? surface, but the obvious. And that brings us to phase three of my ingenious plan. I call it poetic. Injustice. Could I bother you again? Yes, you seem. What? I had a well. I think. Oh, hmm. Maybe you're alive. I. Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, my scalp itch. Oh, is the lice. Of uh, course. Rice. Good thing I have this new miracle shampoo. And now, off with you. I have to shower.
the arrival Why did he leave it unlocked this time? Is nigh. Ooga, 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 the arrival of the destroyer is nigh. So nigh. Ooga, 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 Oh. Okay. Let's go to the laundry room, see if we can get rid of these guys. Hum, hum, kumbaya, our leader is now here. Tree, tra, tru, la, la. Shh. Uh, right. Uh, well, here I am now. <laughs> Let the party begin. <laughs> Does he bear the holy relics? Engraved with the insignia six. The what? Oh, the relics. Yeah, wait a minute. I just need to check that myself. <laughs> what, what sort of relics were those again? The holy list <laughs> of sacred relics. Engraved with the insignia six. Here I go with my psychedelic lyrics about relics. They're so mad they'll make your headache. Yeah, you better call a medache. You're gonna take a pill or you're gonna get sick, for we are a sect addicted to the relics with the six insignia. Uh. What? Shh. Why? Didn't we agree on me having a rap solo? So you want relics? All right, if that's all. Okay. I don't really know what relics I need. What are we waiting for anyway? Didn't you listen? The, the holiest of sacred relics with the insignia six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, but which? The quality of this pit so many head. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. All right, so here. One of All right. the holy relics with the insignia six. I see. One of the holy relics with the insignia six. Waka 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 waka! Shh. Don't imagine any of these are right. Boom, hum, kumbaya. What has he got? What has he got? I thought one of the relics, maybe? Yes. No? Boom, hum, kumba, no. Darn. Aw. I was so sure. Alright, so I need the sheet. Empty jar, maybe? I doubt it, though. I think it's all. Oh, yeah, okay. Darn. Aw. Okay. So, I need the sheets that the ghost is wearing. Why did he leave? There was a really funny joke here in the original German version. <laughs> Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. Okay. The arrival of the destroyer. Ooga, 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 ooga. Okay, I've heard his song too many times. I don't care anymore. Why did the... Why did the, the, the ghost guy leave? The arrival... Ooga, 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 ooga. All right, well, I got the sheet, so pff, whatever. Anything left in here? No, he's gonna do his thing again. I don't know. Shut up. I am. All right. Uh. Making sure I didn't miss anything. I mean, there's nothing else. Unfortunately, it got lost in translation. There's also a care label with six symbols. That's funny, I'm not familiar with any of them. This doesn't have a care label, does it? Better not. It's so easy. Okay. One of the holy relics with the insignia six.
So what now? Not all the machines are running yet. Let the washing begin! What? Hey! I have to get out of the machine at the same time as Cletus's suit, preferably before I start to shrink. Uh... Okay. Choose the holy relic. What? Rufus knows how to throw a good clean party. Also, the symbols on the care label tell in which washer they'll stop. Since there can only since there can be only one piece of clothing in each machine at a time, there is also potential for all kinds of fantastic chain reactions. Hopefully, one will lead to Rufus and Cletus' costume exiting the machine simultaneously. And maybe, as a bonus, without any sort of whiplash. Um... Uh <laughs> Okay. So we have to both get to here at the same time. Or something. How do I do that? So it's gonna wash and then it's gonna go here. Maybe I should go next? Because this will push. <laughs> In theory, that pushed him in with it. choice, do I? To that. Got it. Next is the ritual dental operation. Wait, what? Oh, that's good. What? No, please, please stop! No, stop! Let's knock this over! Wait! Ah, ah. Ah, I feel so dirty. <laughs> Whatever. At least I got Cletus's clothes. Oh. We're wondering about the lost joke. When Rufus looks at the sheet on the floor in German, he says, I cannot speak German, so I'm going to butcher this horribly. Ich, ich verstehe es ist ein Spannbettlaken, which would translate to, I understand it is a fitted sheet. The German word Spannbettlaken means a fitted sheet. The German word for a peeping tom, however, is Spanner. Sheet from the spanner is a Spannbettlaken, means that it belongs to the spanner and is a fitted sheet. The joke is meant... In the way that Rufus just says, what a kind of person the sheet used, he never uses the word spanner or peeping tom and still says what the player already thought. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, that doesn't translate well. It's a play on words, but what the words can't work with uh, English. I'm surprised they didn't just come up with something different, you know? 
I don't necessarily mean make another pun, but just, you know, make another comment and just move on. Not necessarily reference that there's another, um, thing. Okay. Can I mess with the robot, though? What are you, uh, what are you staring at, Oppenbot? With respect, uh, you look different, Inspector. Yes, that's called cell regeneration, a concept which is, of course, unknown to you robots, which may also be the reason you look so unbelievably used up. What are you, uh, with yes, that, uh, which Okay. Oh, no. The inspector. Before you say anything, I can explain that business with the trash bag under your bed. Uh, those aren't real human bones, you know. I couldn't care less. I'm here because I need my bag. No problem. Your bag is here. Not that bag. I need the bag that's in my room. So, why are you here in reception? Uh, can you imagine a possible scenario in which I need to lure myself out of my room under some pretext in order to be able to get <laughs> at my own bag? No. Neither can I. Fine. Then we'll skip the why and get right to the how. How can I lure myself out of my room? <laughs> well, first of all, you'd have to be in your room, right? That's what I would say. Yes, yes. All right. Then I'll go to my room now. Hmm? You should... Definitely do that. And perhaps you should lie down for a bit. I must apologize. The inspector does not appear to be particularly well today. Ah, that's probably just because of the toxic vapors. Here's a tip. Never buy interior paint behind a chemical waste disposal facility. I will remember that. All right. Hello? Anyone out there? Um, there. Uh, hello? You don't have to hide. It's me, your Rufikins. <laughs> ah, screw you. Mmm. Thank you. The art isn't making the guest feel like he's a king. Always nice, always friendly. Later, you can spit on their towels. Or their food, of course. A very enlightening. Speaking of which, I have an order. Whoa, I'll be a platypus's uncle. It's already past noon. Mr. Cletus, your meal is ready. It's waiting for you in the dining room. What meal? The one you ordered, you joker. Rat meat? Certainly not. Believe me, you'll think it tastes heavenly. Of course. Take your time. You see, that's how you do it. Always friendly. Select your phraseology, and when in doubt, lie. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served with fish byproducts. Interesting. Do I need the key though? It looked like you gave the, the duck. Key. Don't tell me you're already finished with your meal. I was very hungry. Yeah, our meals will remedy that very quickly. I bet you can hardly wait to get back to your room. Here's your key. You'll find paper bags under the bed. But that's not the right key. Overpowering him while he's eating would be unsportsmanlike. Ah, you got lucky, Cletus. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay. Huh. 
This doesn't fit either. What the? Oh, come on. The guy at reception gave me the wrong key. I can't change the thing with him in there eating. And here is the inspector once again. What a surprise. Is everything to your satisfaction? <laughs> Far from it. But I can oh, for now. I get it. Anything I else to. would have surprised me. I think I got rid of the bot. No time. Every second counts. What? what you... Hello. Huh. Hello, reception? Always at your service. Let's... Room one. That's impossible. That's impossible. The inspector is next door in the restaurant. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I can hear him kvetching about the fish brain stew. And he hasn't even reached the third layer. The really nasty surprise is still ahead of him. Ugh. Come up with a better story. Oh, did I say room one? <laughs> uh, no, of course, I meant... Oops. No. All right. Maybe I just talk to the robot and tell him to get lost or something. What are you? Uh, what are you? Yes, that's a con which may. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hunger could help you get it down, but then how do you keep it down? For his sake, he'd better not get too close to me. I have a a, a randomly chosen <laughs> item from my inventory, and I'm not afraid to use it. All right. Um. So I can't overpower it. Ah, uh, yeah. Oops. Get that out of the game. What if I give the key back first? And here is the inspector once again. What a surprise. Is everything to your satisfaction? Yeah, nothing is to my satisfaction. You gave me the wrong key, you clogged. Great snot, you're right. One moment. I'll fix that right away. Uh, I think I need a taste bud transplant. Did you say something? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> How about a juicy conversation? Before you give me the key, I'd love to hear your opinion on the major societal problems of the day. Once I return, that is. <laughs> huh? How the heck? Did I manage to choke down your chow? I'd like to know that myself. Come on, give me my room key. I need to rinse out my mouth as quickly as possible. I was just about to do that, but first, I would like to present you with a couple of my theories, as promised. What? <laughs> Quickly now. I have to stop Cletus from getting the right key. All right. So like I said. Did you know that broccoli was originally a failed military experiment? Poltergeists, earthquakes, and cosmic radiation as well. And that doesn't even begin to answer your question. What was it again? Can I have the key for my room? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm not feeling myself today. Lucky you. All right, now we change him back. Oh, you're back again. Don't tell me there's another problem. Um, there most certainly is. You gave me the wrong key again. Th that's impossible. May I see? Uh, uh, of course. Here. Well, I'll be a junkie's uncle. 
It must be because of my medication. I knew it was a mistake changing dealers. <laughs> and can I have my key now? Just a moment. As soon as the effect dies down, the numbers should be back where they belong. I don't want to make a mistake this time. Shouldn't we perhaps consider changing hotels after all, Inspector? There is something strange going on here. Calm yourself, Oppenbach. The only strange thing going on here is your hat. Plus time shift, minus leap year, 12 up, 6 down. Perfect! The clock is working again. And here is your key. All right. Please check it yourself. Yes, this is what it looks like. Um, and if I ever claim otherwise, you are welcome to flash me. Really? Oppenbot is my witness. Isn't that right, Oppenbot? Um, why not? <laughs> I have already witnessed so many strange things today. But, uh, what? Where did he go? Well, there he is. Is everything all right, Inspector? Nothing is all right. You've given me the wrong key again. Really now? You know, as amusing oh, as this game of I wanted to see it happen. Be, I better hurry and search Cletus's room. Who knows how long he'll be distracted? Okay. <laughs> King of the cat burglars, king of the dog burglars, king of the other member of the animal kingdom burglars, Rufus! Ha! The bag! Finally! Now quick, before Cletus comes back. Alright, let's see. Uh, pipe, mothballs, carpet cleaning. Give me the carpet cleaning. Huh, there's a hole in the pipe. There's a fierce upward draft in there. I suppose it's part of the air conditioning. Mm hmm. Hey there, handsome. Come here often. Uh oh. Approaching footsteps. Darn, that's Cletus. I need a place to hide. Blech! Another bite of this slop, and I'll have to brush my teeth. I should have known they couldn't cook in this dump. It's a good thing I have my champagne truffles with me. Otherwise, I would starve. All right. I think we know what to do here, huh? <laughs> I never thought I'd own mothballs. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't seem to bother the moth. Good thing I have a photographic memory. Otherwise, I might get them mixed up. Good thing I have a... Uh, all right. According to the warning label, this should produce an interesting chemical reaction. Oh boy, this is gonna be great, huh? What now? No hiss? No explosion? Well, at least it smells good. Sort of like flower power shower tower shower. Wow. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Um, chloroform paste. Nah, that doesn't work. The stuff just sticks in the pipe. Put it in the jar? Well, this jar, it's... No. Mothballs? I should use this sparingly. Once a month is completely... No, wait! This isn't the toothpaste. The last thing I need here is even fewer moths. The mirror can't be polished from this side, even if I had time for that. I mean, can I just leave? Not a chance. Cletus would notice me. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Fill her up with air? Not yet. I should set a trap first. <laughs> okay.
What? Uh, that wouldn't get me in, except for since I've already. So the mirror even. Can't the mirror can't even can't swap those. Ah, the stuff. Uh, except that I've already not. I should. Can't put in the jar. The last thing. Well, it's. Put in the bag? I should use this once a month. No, wait. I should want no. Well, it's. The last thing. The last. It's crazy. Not a single one. I'm a squirrel. At first glance, hardy, it, but I'm not. Game, I'm not sure what you want me to do here. Oh. <laughs> That's it. I swapped them, probably. Okay. Let's call it Plan Z and proceed slowly. Sure. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha! What's going on? Champagne truffles don't taste like that. <laughs> I have to brush my teeth. Quick, quick, quick! More toothpaste! <laughs> huh? This stuff should have already taken effect. Oh no! I'm such an idiot. I swapped the toothpaste while I was swapping. I sort of switch swap. Oh, now what? Dental Sora's toothpaste. Is it possible sign? Uh. Why am I doing this? What has my life become? Mm -hmm. I don't game. The fuck are you? What are you making me do? Well, it was all about self-sacrifice. Sometimes brushing your teeth is the price a hero must pay. Rufus has to claim his mirror image with his unmatched impersonation skills. I already played the role right in the ass. Fish meter will help Rufus keep up the act. match the timing of it too. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have put so much on my own toothbrush. What's that? What? Why? Okay. <laughs> huh? Was that me? Must have been. Even unconscious, I'm still a secret weapon. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mr. Cleeter, dumb plan. Are you there? Is everything all right? Uh, yes, I'm. I'm uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, yes, I'm. I'm fine. What is it? I need the money bag. I have to put down a payment on the rooms. Uh, no problem. No problem. Um. <sighs> good thing I have a. Good thing I have a photographic. <sighs> uh oh. They're good thing I have a. All right, well. Yeah. And now leave me in peace. I'm busy. Very well, sir. I'm sure whichever one I chose Ooh, is wrong. Finally. <laughs> I knew that would work. It wasn't exactly easy, but I'm an expert when it comes to hairy situations. Doc's jaw will hit the floor. Man, he'll say, Rufus, you really do make the impossible possible. Finally, you've got me this, uh... 
thing. <coughs> What's it called again? Uh, Rare porcelain. Damn it! The idiot took the wrong bag! I just cannot believe this! Alright, let's see. Anything? I can't mess with anything over here. Can I do anything with Cletus? Room service will clear away dirty linen lying on the floor. Well, let's see about uh, popping bags. Please believe me, no one is trying to pull a fast one on you. There must have been a mix-up. I'm sure that the inspector can explain everything. He certainly can. Ah, Mr. Cletus, I'm so glad you're here. Apparently, there has been a mix-up with the bags. Uh, no problem, I'll sort this out. Hang on a minute, please. A call. Huh? It's coming from your room. Oh, then it's, uh, for me. <coughs> Hello? Uh, I, uh, I, uh, yes, yes, this is, um, Oppenbot. What? Uh, no. Oh, no, no. Is it possible? Uh, simply gone? Is it for me? <laughs> uh, come here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, I, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> Just stay in your room. I, uh, Hello? Who was that? Um, um, uh, wrong number. Uh, please wait here for a moment, Oppenbot. <laughs> I'll be right back. <coughs> and I'll uh, probably be coming from the other direction. What? But... Uh, I must admit, this is all a bit much for me. Oh, oh. Well, that was fast. Oppenbot, what's going on here? That's what I was just going to ask you. Wait, is that the bag with the money? I'm afraid it still isn't, no. Did you take the bag from my room? But you know that. All that I know is that someone stole my bag. I'm completely confused. <laughs> When chaos floods order, genius mounts a surfboard. All right. Can I swap back to my clothes now? No time. Every second counts. Well, what do you know? A plasma exchange whoop de doo mammoth fur relay. Hmm, I better leave it in there. I don't want to lose it in the home stretch. No time. Every... Okay. Hey, Doc, I've got your plasma exchange mammoth whoopee cushion thingy. What's going on here? Rufus, the operation was a success. I'm finally my old self again. Yay! Yay? <laughs> Yay, yeah, super. But how do you... Yeah, well that... Doc, tell me, did you actually need the mammoth fur relay? Mammoth fur what? Well, uh, funny story. I can't believe you wanted to get rid of me. What? Yeah, exactly. You gave me a pointless mission so I wouldn't get in your way. That is so mean. Is that true, Doc? Bozo. Well... We thought... And I thought you were his friends. Oh, come on, Goal. You know what he's like. No matter what he touches, it always ends in chaos. He wrecked my cutter. Nya, 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 nya. Really now, is that the level we're on? Let me tell you something about Rufus. He is... he... Where did he go? Forward, and make it snappy. Spike his uvula with poop bits! <laughs> Later, perhaps. Ah, room one. Wonderful. That rotten bunch of traitors. Ah, uh, I... Oof. I... Uh-oh. Ah, Cletus, there you are. Rufus, wait for me. Uh, I'm sorry, Doc and Bozo. Uh... Oh. And I see you have found your fiancé. Excellent. Ow! What's going on out here? Can't anyone in this blasted... What the... You! Come on, go. Let's get out of here. Jugular Ragu! Woo! 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 You! Stop! Stay where you are!
Uh oh. We must get rid of Cletus. I'm working on it. Jugular Raku! <laughs> no, please. This is a case of mistaken identity. We doing a Scooby Doo? Go. What are you doing here? Uh oh. Hey, come back. Oh, that was painful. I wish I could set this mad woman on Cletus somehow. All right, five doors, two stairs, and five people chasing each other through the hallways. How in Deponia could Rufus utilize this mayhem to get Donna and Cletus to meet on the corridor? Only by figuring out how each character decides which doors they use and how all exits are connected, chaos could be handled. So they're going to come out here, I guess? Um, I don't know. I'm just going to go in random doors, see what happens. Stop! What the? You dare steal my clothes? I'll get you for this. Uh, no, stop. I, I... Help. Hey, wait. Come back, you coward. Jugular Ragu! Huh? Where did your fiancé get to now? I'd like to know that myself. Okay. So Cleese is gonna come up the stairs. Uh, Gold's gonna come out the door. We don't know what's gonna happen. But go! Right. Please don't walk away! Military guy's gonna come up and Donna's gonna come out the door. What happens if we. Meet Donna uh, here. Uh, stop it! I'm not Cletus! Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm just gonna go in here. Uh oh. Miss Girl, please wait. What happens if I go meet Cletus? You again! Um, wait, wait. I. I... Ow! Hmm. Hey, wait! Uh, uh. Oh no. Alright, so the two of them should come out at the same time, right? I just gotta get out of the way? Uh, woo, 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 gotcha! Uh, th this is a mistake. I, I don't even know you. Hammer the shammer! Yeah, hammer the shammer! Last. What is this ridiculous game of hide and seek? What's going on here? Uh, that woman obviously has it in for us. Uh, right. W w w what she said. Can't you take better care of your prisoners? My prisoners? You're the one who dragged her along. And anyway, where is she now? She must have taken the wrong door. <laughs> Just as well. Now there's nothing standing in the way of our departure. Departure? To Porto Fisco, of course. The last high boat to Elysium is waiting for you there. Unless you would rather stay here. Actually, it's like this. Uh, Goal, can I talk to you for a second? This is our chance. He'll escort us straight to Porto Fisco and put us in the high boat himself. And what if your cover's blown? There'll never be a better opportunity. 
All right, we'll risk it. Don't worry, Rufus is here. And promise me you will behave authentically and dignified, like Cletus. Promise. Yeah, how could that go wrong? <laughs> Forsooth, my good man. Then let us promenade back to your noble steed. <clears throat> my chivalric blood seethes already. Yes. After you. His act isn't half bad. Before a champ decamps to adventure and enters the lion's den, he attends an obscure purification ritual. Yeah, that's a habitual narrative. We'll look it up, it's for sure. And polished to utmost cleanliness and dressed up as his nemesis, he chose backed by gold to go out on a limb. And that they had to leave their friends of old out in the cold was basically their own fault. The arms never hold because breaks are for wimps. Because breaks are for wimps. Who needs those crumbs? Oh, look at me. I'm Doc. I'm a know-it-all and a legless wonder. Oh, look at me. I'm Bozo. I have hair like an Elysian unicorn and can make fart sounds on my bass fiddle. Now, don't be so upset. I think it's sad you parted in anger. But believe me, they're going to change their minds. At the latest, when they wake up the day after tomorrow with a planet under their feet. Huh. We'll see. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad after all if the Organon blew this whole junk heap to smithereens. Rufus! I didn't really mean it. So, uh, what's it like on Elysium? <laughs> You'll see soon enough. Is it true that they have fountains that shoot drinking water into the air? Rufus, I can't concentrate. Yeah, uh, what are you doing anyway? I'm writing my report to the Council of Elders. <laughs> Boring. It will only take a moment. You can get the bed ready. <laughs> the, uh, the bed? As in, who's been sleeping in my bed? Yes, of course the bed. We should be well rested when we get to Elysium. <laughs> and, and, and you and me? I mean, we, we, the, the two of us are kind of going to share a bed? To sleep, Rufus. Got it? Just to sleep. Yeah, sure, naturally. Yeah, sure. Why else? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you the dirty, dirty man. I understand. All right. Well, I am going to call it for the day. It seems like a great stopping point. And I will uh, pick this up tomorrow. It seems like the connection hold out other than one tiny hiccup at some point. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like low latency mode may just be the thing causing my problems. For now, at least. Uh, probably just shitty internet. <laughs> Being shitty. Doing his thing. Crapping all over my good times. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll pick up there, we'll get the bed ready, and then we'll spend time in it. I'm sure absolutely nothing terrible will happen, because that's how these stories go. Alright, see you guys then, hopefully. Uh, if not, well... You know, see you when I see you. You guys take care. Farewell. Have good days, good evenings, good whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll see you next time. Be excellent to each other. Later, all. Mm -hmm.